Sorry Alex, I've got into a lot of work. I'm sorry. Why you always do this Nuna? I didn't go to the trip with my friends just because of you. I wanted to spend time with you and leave it. I shouldn't have expected anything from you. I'll buy you anything you want to pay for it. I'm so sorry. I also wanted to spend time with you but this work came up. It's okay Nuna, focus on your work. I know that is more important for you than your own brother. Jungkook entered inside the room holding two cups of coffee in his hands. He closed the door behind him and slowly walked towards his desk while looking in your direction. You were on the call with your younger brother and was looking so upset. Next time we'll definitely go. I promise you even if I have to leave my job, I'll do that. Don't be sad, okay? Okay? Hello, Alex? You bring the phone down to your lap and sigh because Alex ended the call. Are you planning to stay all night here? It's already 11 and we have a lot to finish for tomorrow's meeting. You gritted your teeth and tried to stay calm but Jungkook wasn't really looking in the mood of silence. That was the last time you two were together alone when you left without saying anything and avoided him. You shifted to another place with your parents just to avoid going to the same school as him. You both stayed apart for 6 years and now finally happened to meet again and this time you can't even avoid him. He walked near you and put the cup of on your table. Take a little break. It will help you to stay focused. This time you lost it. You looked at him and instantly your eyes met. His full of satisfaction and yours with anger and disbelief. I know why you are doing all this. But remember one thing. You won't get anything out of it. He smiled a little. If you have finished it earlier, you might have gone earlier. Do not blame me for your negligence. You glared at him for a minute and then started doing your work. While he walked near his desk, he was studying all the old records and other stuff while you were busy preparing for tomorrow's meeting all alone. He was looking at you from time to time while you were angrily typing on your laptop. Jungkook flinched as found himself zoning out while working. He checked the time and it was past 1 a.m. He looked in your direction and found you sleeping while sitting on the floor and your head was resting on the table. He got up and walked near you. He carefully removed the laptop and closed it. He was about to tuck your hair back which were all over your face but his hand stopped in middle. He waited for six years to meet you again. Just because of you, he agreed to join his father's business, whereas he wasn't interested in it at all. He knew you would definitely join in this company because it was your dream, but you didn't know Jungkook was related to it. Luna, did the party over? You said you'll come after 8. You didn't say anything and walked upstairs in your room while your mom also came in the living room. Is your sister already home? Alex nodded and looked at her. She looked like as if she cried. Your mom looked him worried. She was crying? He slowly nodded. What could have happened? They both rushed upstairs. You closed the door of your room and threw yourself on the bed, burying your face in the pillow, as you started to cry silently making sure your brother and mom won't hear you. All your school life you both hated each other. 
There were times when you got attracted towards him but never have those thoughts affected you. You both used to be friends long ago but this friendship turned into hate for some reasons and you both became each other's biggest enemies. You still remember the emptiness you used to feel when he didn't show up in school or go late for some reasons and you hated that. You always wondered why you feel that way and that made you show hate for him more when in reality you were doing it so that you can make this unknown feeling for him go away. You only thought that he just hates you but today you couldn't believe in what he said you didn't even know he was genuine or not but you also know he would never say such things like this why yet are you okay honey what happened luna open the door you looked at the door and tried to steady yourself as you couldn't even talk because of the lump in your throat you swallowed and somehow managed to speak Leave me alone for some time you guys please you didn't able to say more Umma your mom looked at him it's the last day of her school that's why she is upset let's give her some time okay she'll be all right let's go she took a glance at the door and left with Alex How was your graduation party He said coming near his son before standing beside him but he was taken aback a little when he saw Jungkook What happened to you son you are not looking fine Jungkook slowly looked at him that I'm ready to go to business school His dad was beyond surprised This sudden change in his son bothered him. It was his dream to see Jungkook helping them in their family business and today is the day where he himself wanted to do it. It's not less than a miracle. I'm so happy to hear. It. Thank you so much. But what made you took this decision? Jungkook saw his reflection in the water. He couldn't stop thinking about what happened a while ago. He could still feel the burning sensation on his cheek. Jungkook always had a thing for you, but after when you both got separated, He knew you would never give him attention so he chose this way he himself don't know when he fell in love with you He picked you up and carefully made you sleep on the couch then he brought his blazer and covered you till the shoulder Nothing has really changed in you I wondered if you still hates me that much or realized that I was serious that day You woke up yawning and rubbed your eyes. You were so puzzled to find yourself in Jungkook's office and it was bright outside. The sun was sh- shining bright. It didn't took you time to realize that you fell asleep here last night. You quickly checked the time and it was 8 a.m. Mostly all the employees came to work. I'm screwed. You were about to get up But then you saw Jungkook's blazer on you. All the files and papers which were scattered on the table was nicely arranged. You looked around but Jungkook wasn't in the room. Did he left leaving me here all alone? You flinched when someone knocked on the door. Shit. Who must it be? You got a bit worried because if someone will see you in this condition, they probably will get a wrong idea about you. What do I do now? Should I open it? But Where's the coconut head? After a few knocks, it stopped. Later, Jungkook walked inside the room, and he was holding a plastic bag in his hand. Good morning. You still sleep carelessly without thinking about anything, huh? 
You blankly staring at him but then realize that you left the work unfinished and in few hours you have to go for meeting. You quickly open the laptop but surprisingly it was all done. You correctly remember that you left it unfinished and then you realize that it's Jungkook who has done it. He walked near his table and put the plastic bag on it. D did you finish this presentation? I don't want to get embarrassed in front of board members just because of some stupid reasons. You look down. I brought some necessary things from the convenience store so go and fix yourself. You can't go to meeting looking like this. Give me some time. I'll go home and come back. We have meeting in two hours. I'll come back. My car. Suddenly you remember you forgot to fill, fill the fuel. You sure you will? You sigh. No, I can't. I have to get ready here itself. You can use these stuffs. Did you brought toothpaste and toothbrush? He extended the bag towards you. Everything you'll need and your clothes are here too. You stopped in middle and looked at him. Oh, what clothes? What? Are you planning to wear same things again? It didn't has happened if you let me leave yesterday. You sat and closed the door of bathroom. Jungkook sat on his chair. When he was coming back to office, the manager was knocking on the door as he had something to discuss with him. Jungkook told him what to do and all and sent him back without letting him in. He didn't slept all night and went to convenience store to buy stuff for you because he knew you would need them in the morning. You opened the bag and it has everything you needed to start your morning. He even brought in a wares which made you so surprised. You looked around and your eyes fell on a branded suit hanging on the knob of a cupboard. You sighed as you got an idea what he was doing all this time. He let you sleep and did the remaining work. He even brought all this stuff so that you won't face any problem in the morning. But the question was, why does he still love you? Jungkook's eyes were only fixed on Taehyung, who was listening to you carefully. This was the first meeting of Jungkook and he didn't know that the CEO of Kim Corporation is Taehyung. He wasn't even paying attention to what's happening and you seem to notice that. No, I forgot I don't have fuel in my car. Let's go, I'll drop you to your home. You turn at him. It's okay, I'll take taxi and also you have a meeting, right? It's in the evening and also, why would you take taxi when I'm here? Are you sure it will be okay? He frowned his eyebrows. You have doubt? You both laughed a little. You and Taehyung are still good friends, although you met few years ago after he came back to Korea, but everything is same as before. In fact, your friendship has become more strong. Taehyung confessed his feelings to you before going to America, but you politely denied and told him that you don't have any feelings for him. You only see him as a good friend. For few months, everything was silent. He never called you again, neither you did. But when you both met after all these years, everything went back to normal. You again became good friends. Let's go then. You nodded. You two walked towards his car but then Jungkook came. He grabbed your hand. Let's go. I'll drop you to your home. He glared at Taehyung. What are you doing Jungkook? Leave my hand. He let go of your hand and looked at you. Come with me. I'll drop you to your home.
You still didn't change that all right, still come in middle of everything. Jungkook was already pissed with him and his words made him more angry. And you still try to get things you can never have. Stop it both of you, I'll take taxi, I'm not going with any of you. But why and you looked at him. I'm sorry Tae. You started to walk but Jungkook grabbed your hand and walked you towards his car forcibly. He made you sit in the car and drove off while Tae saw his car disappearing from his side. He knew Jungkook was the reason you denied to him and even if the history will repeat itself, no doubt Jungkook will win you for sure. Can I ask you why you are doing all this? You said looking at him while he shifted his gaze on you. You are not stupid, right? Then why do you pretend to know nothing? You both stayed in the same position staring deep in each other's eyes for a while before you looked away. I don't pretend anything. Yes, because you are too egoist as always. Why you and Taehyung together? Are you guys dating? You turn your face at him giving him a disgusting look. Why you care about that? Even if we do, why you have problem with that? I have because that time too, you rejected me just to be with him, right? What? Who told you that? Daisy and Sam told me that Daehyung asked you for a date that day. This is the reason why you left me there, right? He has thousands of questions in his eyes. You just stayed silent because you didn't want to explain him anything. You knew that he also went through the same misunderstanding as you. Things might have changed but I didn't forget that day and I know you also. We are just friends and nothing else. This is what he wanted to listen from you. You could see how his eyes relaxed as if he also wanted to clear this doubt. Then why you disappeared after that day? Who told you that I was planning to dump you? You didn't look at him because later you came to know that it was all a lie. Your friends did that purposely but they didn't knew things would turn out like that. They were just doing it for fun. No one. I just thought it by myself because why would you do that without any reason? Your voice slowed down. My reason was clear. But I wasn't ready and still not. You finally met his gaze. Whatever is going inside your head, stop that because my answer is still the same. And why do you think I still want you? Because then you won't do all these things you are doing now. You took out your credit card and extended it towards him. I don't want to owe you in any way so you can take your money back. He looked at the card and then at you. Are you sure it has enough to pay me back? What do you want from me? To beg you for loving you so that you can feel superior? I don't think anyone played this hard to get, especially the one who already has feelings. Your heart was beating so fast, more like aching. You just wanted to get out from here just like you did in the past. What is the reason that you are holding yourself back? Do you really hate me that much? I don't and I never did. Then why aren't you accepting my feelings? Why running away? You looked down. 
I don't have answer to any of your questions. He stopped the car near your house. You looked at him. Thanks for the ride. You grabbed your bag and got up from the car. He watched you disappearing inside the building. His eyes fell on the credit card you left in the car. You have to give the answer. He started the engine and drove off. For the next few days, you both were busy with meetings and joining the events and also there was a lot more work to do. Although you both stayed together mostly all the time but never talked about that thing again. You didn't know what to do. From the very beginning, you were too weak to confess your feelings. You always keep them inside you and that's the reason when your friends told you that they didn't want to be with Jungkook because he's not what they thought. You two broke up friendship with him and from there it all started. A girl attempted suicide because of him. She confessed her feelings to him but because he denied she tried to ruin his life and attempted suicide. Luckily she was saved but not, no one believed Jungkook and you were one of them. It's not like you didn't believe him but your friends who never let you do that. They always filled your ears against him. Later, you left their group after finding about it, but it was too late for that. You still want to apologize to him for that, but as always too afraid to approach him. You still don't understand why he still claimed to love you even after all that. Today is the day, last day of you're in Japan and you're going back to Korea from the first flight in the morning. You decided to apologize to him at today's dinner. You got up and walked outside the room. You got a little confused to see Jungkook sitting all alone. You thought it's a business dinner. Everything was decorated so beautifully. You slowly walked near the table while Jungkook passed you a warm smile. You made it on time. Why? No one is here. He gulped the last drink and put the glass on the table before looking at you. Who else you were expecting here? You tried to get your thoughts together because you assumed it to be a formal dinner. I thought you were meeting up with new clients. How can I take those decisions without asking you? Don't you know that? You look down. I thought why not have a memorable dinner before going back. We have worked so hard all week so it's a reward. Jungkook, I wanna say something to you. Sorry to bring it up at this time but I made up my mind after a lot of efforts. What's that? He asked being a little curious. You looked at him. I'm sorry for not believing in you. I knew that you got framed that day but still I chose to ignore it. I thought you wanted to say that you're ready to accept my feelings. Well, you don't need to apologize for that. I myself was in that condition so. Though it hurted but I didn't blame you for that but the way you turned your back from me that was unbearable. You looked down. Sorry for that too. In fact, for that slap, I didn't mean to do that but when you tried to kiss me, I'm sorry. I scared you, right? I know, but I was really going to kiss you. I don't know why I decided to do that. But I really hated that you didn't believe me and just thought I, w I would dump you. You didn't say anything. I'm ready to forget everything if you accept my love. You lift up your head and met his eyes. How can I just do it all of a sudden? I still need time to think. Jungle got excited. 
you have all the time. I just want us to be together forever.